Hi everybody, my name is Rich Barnes. I'm a professor here at Niagara College. Today I'm going to take you on a tour of our School of Media Studies game development program. We'll take a look at the labs, we'll talk about some of the software we're going to use, and the expectations that you might have as a student, and what you'll come out of the program once you graduate. I've been a professor since 2017. Before that, I worked in the industry. I've worked on Nintendo 64, PlayStation, and a lot of different AAA games. And you'll find the other professors here are very similar. On top of that, we have many part-time professors. Not only do they have game industry experience, but they also have their own companies. So let's take a look around. We'll take a look at some of the uh, laboratories and see the types of software you're gonna use. All right, so before we get started and take a look at some of the labs, I wanted to show you our Marilyn Walker uh, Center of Excellence. Uh, it's got a large TV at the background, uh, and we play a lot of student work here. So games that you work on, demos you do, um, projects you've shown, could easily end up on the screen for the rest of the students to see. And even though this is a tough program, it's not all hard work. So a lot of times you'll find students here playing games, uh, Pokemon, Magic the Gathering, uh, having their Game Boy Switches and stuff like that. Uh, and it's a really good place to sort of relax and interact with your fellow students. The professor offices are all around here. Our associate dean is uh, right uh, next door. So it's a really close atmosphere where you're always sort of uh, working together with not just students, but the faculty and professors as well. On the screen, uh, what it shows there is The Fallen. Um, and this was actually a game that was developed by some of our third year students. They took a course project that they worked on and they continued it during the summer in conjunction with one of the professors, and they actually shipped it on Steam. Uh, and it's a great example of sort of the thing you can do uh, with your diploma or with your degree once you graduate here. So next, let's take a look at a few of the labs, and we'll talk about some of the software and the different programs we here have here at Niagara College. So this is S310. It's a pretty typical lab that you'd be in uh, as a student here. Probably about 20, 25 different computers all close together because you work in groups a lot when you're in game development, and the professor would be at the front of the class. So it's a very sort of close collaboration with students and professors. At Niagara College, we have a three-year advanced diploma. So you'll be working your way through three years, and I'll talk to you a little bit later in this uh, tour about what those years would entail. On top of that, we have a joint BA program with Brock University. So you can also complete your diploma and your degree at the same time. And there's two streams for that, the Bachelor of Arts or the programming stream. So if you take a look at the actual program and what you're going to be learning, it's actually quite wide. We go over both art, game design, and programming. And we assume that you're coming into the program with very little experience for any of those. So we sort of start with the fundamentals in first year. For art, we'll go through 3D Studio Max, Substance Painter, Photoshop. For programming, we focus on Visual Studio, C++, and C Sharp. And for game design, we go through both Unity You'll make shooters and different types of games in Unity, but we also talk a lot about the theory. And that'll happen in classrooms just like this as well. We design board games, talk about different design mechanics, working in groups to discuss all that. All right. You can see some of the software we've got up here. These computers are pretty typical. Uh, we have dual monitor setups, so two monitors for all uh, students. They're fairly high-end computers. Intel i7s, uh, good high-end graphics cards, 16 gigabytes of RAM. So pretty nice uh, hardware that you're, uh, you'll be able to use. It's okay if you have your own laptop or if your own computer, but that's not required. The labs are open 24 hours. You can get access to them uh, and use them whenever you want. So by second year, once you're sort of familiar with the different areas of game development, whether you enjoy the programming aspect, the design aspect, or the artistic aspect, you'll start working together more in groups. In second year, we focus on a bit smaller projects. You'll be doing top-down shooters, uh, designing different types of games, working in groups. But by the time you get to third year, you've sort of really got a basis for developing a game and seeing what it's like to actually do game development. And that sort of accumulates with your capstone course. This is a third year course that you'll take at Niagara College. Everyone will complete it. And you're put together into group projects. So you're working with seven or eight other students. And it sort of mimics typical game development. So you'll have designers, you'll have artists, you'll have programmers, and you'll also have producers who manage and work the process. But the difference is, that's you guys. You'll be doing this work. One of the professors will be overseeing you, but we're sort of acting like a milestone or a company who's in paying for you to do this work. Now, of course, we're not paying you to do it, but that's the atmosphere that, uh, that happens. 
You work on those games, you design your game design documents, your technical design documents, you plan that out in the first half of the year. Once you get to the second semester, you begin the actual development. And it sort of accumulates with your own game. You can see sort of the uh, posters that we've got up on the wall here. Every year, all the teams, one of their parts of that project is to do a poster, showing off their game, talking about the credits and who worked on it. And the games themselves are demoed at different conventions around uh, the Ontario and uh, Niagara area. So Niagara Comic Con, Level Up, which is run by Ubisoft and many other game development studios in Toronto, you'll go there and demo your game to the press, to prospective employers, and different students and professors. So it's kind of a very interesting part of our course uh, and something you'll encounter by the time you get to third year. So that wraps up our tour, everyone. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at, at our facilities and the different computer labs that you'd encounter here if you joined us at Niagara College for the game development program. If you've got any questions, you can go to the School of Media Studies uh, website under game development and you can ask us any questions you want. I'd be happy to answer them or other professors can help as well. Thanks everyone and hope to see you here at Niagara College.